Since my wife and I have reported an elite paedophile network containing members of the aristocracy in the United Kingdom, our children, our four lovely children, have twice been kidnapped by the Irish government. This is because the Irish government is working on behalf of the British elite. We have been denied all basic legal rights in Ireland at the district, the circuit and even the high court level. I now have a number of questions about the treatment of my family to the Chief Justice of the Irish legal system, Susan Denham. Chief Justice, my wife and I and our four children have been denied every possible legal right in Ireland. Do you accept this as a resignation issue? Chief Justice, you have known for some time and been informed of all the legal rights we have been denied and the constant danger our lives are in. As Chief Justice, why have you done nothing to remedy this? Chief Justice, do you think it is justice that because we report an elite paedophile ring to police that our four children are twice illegally taken from us and put in the care system, there have been repeated attempts on the life of my wife and I. The state repeatedly tries to section us and we are denied all basic legal rights in your courts. Chief Justice, Judge Kelly has illegally denied us access to court records in Letterkenny. These are the court records which have detained our children for nine months illegally. You are fully aware of this. Even court records in Dublin have denied us access to these records, which is a fundamental basic legal right. Have you, as Chief Justice, instructed the illegal withholding of crucial information which would free our children to prevent us recovering our children illegally detained in the care system? Chief Justice, has Francis Fitzgerald, the former social worker and the current Injustice Minister in Ireland, who has ordered the continuous surveillance of my family for two years, put pressure on you to deny my family all basic legal rights in Ireland and instructed illegal actions against us in your courts. Chief Justice, a member of your judiciary, Judge Paul Kelly of Letterkenny, has openly supported the corrupt executive under Enda Kenny. This he's doing in the persecution of my family on behalf of the British elite. He has breached privacy and freedom of speech laws by reading out emails in court, instructing the removal of YouTube videos and denying us access to information. Do you believe, Chief Justice, that judges should break the law and support a corrupt executive against all child protection laws and all fairness and all legality when it is politically expedient to do so? Chief Justice, does the Chief Justice agree with Judge Kelly and the corrupt Irish government that anyone who reports an elite paedophile network should have their children taken from them and there should be repeated attempts to have them sectioned and then killed? Chief Justice, do you think it's normal procedure that Judge Kelly instructs social workers to meet us in a different jurisdiction in a hospital in Northern Ireland and sends our teenage daughter to Scotland on the whim of her powerful Freemasonic grandfather against her will. Chief Justice, did you authorise and approve a very senior Police Scotland officer to testify against my wife and I at closed family court hearings at district, circuit and the High Court levels, despite no accusations being made against us. Chief Justice Denham, based on the lengthy paperwork we have given you twice, based on all the evidence which you are fully aware of, based on all the illegality against procedure and any notion of law in your courts, which you are fully aware of, would you admit, Chief Justice, that your courts are not upholding the law. Instead, they are executing a political agenda in which my wife is to be sectioned and me imprisoned 
for daring to report an elite paedophile network to protect her children. Chief Justice, do you think, Chief Justice, that because all laws have been broken against my family in the very secretive law court, the family courts, that somehow, because there is no transparency, this means the law does not apply, and that if people don't find out about it, then you don't have to uphold it. <laughs>